today's video is dedicated to the channel member Mr. Val who have just gotten their free month official Seniac badge. Look how good that looks. If you've got a badge, let's see how good your looks in the comment section down below. <laughs> Again, welcome back to another episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with your boy. Last episode, we finally built our little conveyor system, a small version of it. Uh, we got a new axe and we made some sweet cash money moolah in the process. Uh, today, we're going to take it to the next step. Now, since last episode, I've been grinding away. I've been processing so much freaking wood and managed to get 5,699 smackaroonies in the bank. Which we are going to hopefully buy a better axe. Of course we are. We are hopefully going to buy some more land as well. Get a better sawmill. Because this one can only take so big tree trunks. We make to make it sure it could take even the bigger ones. So we can process even bigger pieces. And make even more money. And we're hopefully going to go on a little adventure. To try and find some more valuable wood. Now if you guys enjoy this and want to see more Lumber Tycoon 2. Then please. Make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are a new in here, make sure you subscribe so you're notified when that next video comes out. And let me know in the comment section as well, guys. Do you want to see more? Now, before we jump all into that, then, I think first things first, then, we're going to go to... I think we'll go to the actual Wood Ara store first. And before I spend all my money that I've worked so freaking hard to get, guys, it's going to be a shame to just go right now. I'm going to try and buy a better axe. Now, I currently have this one. Here, which is this one here, which I believe is a st the steel one, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, over here is the plain axe. So there are all the basic axes over there. Whoa, I'm all over the place. Over here, we have the hardened axe, which is 550. Wait, do I have the hardened axe? No, it's the hardened one I've got. You damn folio. Uh, over here, we have uh, the silver axe, which is 2,000. And I think that's all the axes that we can currently kind of get at the minute in the store. They're the best ones that we can buy. So we're going to buy the uh, the silver one. Whoa. Excuse me. Excuse me. Little lag spike there. Uh, we're going to grab this axe right now. There we go. There we go. So it's 2,000 of our cash money moolahs getting wasted. But it's the, the best axe that we can buy in this store. So we're going to buy that. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Get out of here. I should, you know, I don't need to put it in there. I can actually open it right now. Oh, damn. It's going down, boys. It's going down. So we currently have as well, uh, which sawmill do we have? It's this one over here, isn't it? Yeah, the shabby sawmill. Now, we do need to go for one that's slightly bigger. I've got 3,000 smackaroonies. The next best one I can buy is the fair sawmill. Now, I don't know if that one is any bigger than this one. I can't quite remember but it's the next best one i can afford so i can either spend my money on this do you know what we're gonna do that we're gonna do that we're gonna get the next sawmill up it's the next one that i can afford i can't afford any more after this so just try and excuse me throw you no no throw you there yeah boom nice so let's speak to you boy tom over here right now uh, yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Bought it. Spent what? I got 2,000 left. I spent like over 3,500 right now. And I think I'm going to grab a couple of extra conveyors as well. So grab you. Speak to your boy. Because we can extend a little bit on the um, the whole setup right now. So we like to buy this straight conveyor. Yes, please. Thank you. Nice, nice. Does he sell wires in here? He does, yeah. Right, because I'm I think we have to go all the way across the bridge, but we don't have to just yet. Because I could create something pretty good at some point. Nice little convey system. Right, anyway, let's get on top of this anyway. So buy straight fair, yes. Thank you. Let's go. Right, just drop those two in there. So we got actually I'll buy one more ramped up one as well. So we can go a little bit higher. And I think that's all we're gonna buy today from the store. And then we're going to go check out some new land. And then hopefully we can get some nice wood. And we can slowly make some progress on our house. We need to make some freaking progress on the house, boys. But to do that, we need wood. Good wood. Oh, hold on. It's fell out the back. Right, get in. Right. Hopefully it stays there. I think we're good, boys. I think we're good. 
Right, let's get to the land store then. Speak to you boy in here. And, um... Hoping it's not too expensive, the next piece of land. You want some land, eh? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yes, I do, do, do. Uh, I want to expand my land. So, 3,000. Oh my god, we don't have enough. Right, get out of here! Uh, you don't want my land? Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Damn fool. But that's okay. Right, jump back in the truck. The truck, it won't drive. There we... Oh! It fell out. Damn it, boys. We're almost home. Right, I'm going to place it there. It's probably going to fall out again. We we'll take it easy. Right, we're here. We're here. So I can't exactly extend my conveyor system just yet. So what we'll do is we'll just drop these boxes uh, over here. And there we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, everyone asking me to sell this sign, I can't stress enough. I'm not selling it. Because if I sell it, you can never get it back. This is the only time you get a sold sign with my name on. It's not being sold, guys. Trust me, it's not being sold. Um, boom, 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 boom. Places over here. Now, we're going to have to kind of fit that into here. Now, I have a feeling, which I say I have a feeling. I know it's going to be so much bigger. Oh, it's... Hold on. If I can turn the truck around, we can get some extra lights on the base. There we go. Uh, so we're going to try and do some maneuvering right now. So let me just move this to there for just a second. Open up the new one, which is so much bigger. So I'm just going to drop that there for a second. It's got a slightly bigger hole there to get larger wood through. So that's a good sign already. Let me just place these over here. Place these over here. Move this. Right now in position, hopefully. Boom. Yes. So this one went up to 1.8, 1.2. This one's going to go up to... One, oh, oh, 2.4. So 2.4, 1.6. Oh, excuse me, sign. This one went up to 1.8, 1.2. So we can make... That's better because we can make bigger chunks in smaller formats. So we can fit more in the truck if that makes sense. Makes it easier to cram stuff in the truck anyway. Uh, okay, so let's try and get this all now on. So new upgraded setup. Which I'm going to have to flip the conveyor here the right way around. Boom! There we go. There we go. So, I think then, we can actually sell this. How do I sell this? Check. Well, it's more destroying it, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Destroy it. It's gone. Oh, big explosions. Big explosions, boys. So, new system there. And I think, I think maybe we should go and take a little, little bit of a trip. Now, what I think will be quite cool is to build the house in white walls, meaning that we need some white trees, meaning that we need to go on a little exploration uh, to find the good stuff. Now, the white trees are kind of up here. It's not too painful to get, which is good. It's a good sign. But when I built in the last series, when I did it in lava wood, driving up to the volcano every time, what's annoying? Because you just never know if you were going to die or not. You just never do. Right. Off we go. E-I, 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 O. Uh, all the way to the top then. Well, not to the top. To the top of this hill. Where we can find our first bit of birch. Our delicious birch wood. That hopefully we can start making some progress on the blueprints to my house. That would be pretty cool. If, even if I only build one room. I have one room. I have one more room than I did before. So, any bigger trees before I chop them down? Um, right, it looks like there's some trees up here with a little bit more branches we'll probably grab first. That's the problem when you first join the server, the trees aren't fully grown. But then again, it's birch. You're not really going to get much fully grown trees. So, skirt, skirt. And let's tr firstly try out the new axe. So, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. So, it's birch wood, which takes a little bit longer to chop than the normal other wood. But that's pretty good. Now, imagine how good it would be on the other wood. So, let's chop this down as much as we can. Because the difference is now and then, we're going to have to heavily transport these goods. And I can only transport as much as what my truck can hold. That is now the downside at the minute. I need a better truck. I need a bigger truck. I need a freaking trailer. Can that truck hold a trailer? Oh, it can hold a trailer. Might have to look about getting a trailer at some point as well. But I think before I do any of that anyway, I'm going to have to expand my land. 
Right, so let's throw all this in there. It's my first bit of birch. Now, I could sell this for great profits, but I feel like I need a house. It's time your boy built his first house on here, don't you think? Because I'm living... I don't really have anywhere to live. So, I don't even have a toilet to do the poopsies. That's shocking, isn't it? Uh, right, there we go. Pick you up. Now, I wonder how many walls this is going to enable me to build. Probably not a lot, but we should we should check it out. We should see what's going down. Hopefully none of the wood falls out because it's so painful. It, it, it's so annoying when it falls out when you're going down the hill because it slides and you've got to literally drive. I'm not liking how that piece there is looking at me. We're all good though, boys. We're all good. So it's completely dark. It is nighttime and your boy is out there grinding, chopping wood, being the expert lumberjack that he has been known to be have become. Look at me go, boys. Look at me freaking go right now. Right. So down we go. We only need 1,200 to be able to... What was 3,000 again? It was the... Oh, buying land. <laughs> I have to try to think for a second now. What was 3,000 that they tried to tell us earlier? It's about buying new land. So there's only 1,200 away. It's not miles away. Uh, but here we go. I don't think I've got any wall blueprints either. No, I don't think so. So, what are we doing? We're just... Ooh. <laughs> Trying to back the truck up a little bit just to there. And let's see what we can do. Now, will that piece go in? Yes. That wouldn't have gone in on the last sawmill. Just saying. Oh, why can't I jump up? There we go. So that's going to create some big, huge chunks right now. I can't even drop the back of this tra um, truck as well. Can't do that until we get to the next big boy. But that's okay. That's okay. Look at this. I'm an expert, boys. I'm a freaking expert right now. Let's go. Look at that. I've got, I've got the angles. I've got the turns. Got it down, boys. So that's made some big boy chunks right there, which is good. Now, blueprints. I don't... The only blueprint I have is this floor blueprint. This tree's kind of in the way. So let's kind of see how many chops this takes to get cut down. Wow. Just like that. Right, I'm going to move this over here for a second. Now, I need some more blueprints to be able to kind of slowly build around this. And you know I don't have enough wood there to build all of them. But that's okay, because we're making a start. We're making a start, boys. So, to the store. Hey, boy. Bet you didn't think I'll be back so soon. Maybe you did. And we need some walls. So, we got fences, short fence, smooth wall. What's the big boy wall? Short, smooth. Ah, it's this one here. It requires 11 units of wood. Damn, that's a lot. That's a lot of units. What I should actually check is how many units. I'll open that. Nice. How many units uh, the floor piece gives us? 11. Oh, it's just as many as 11 floor tile each one. Oh, that's going to take a lot. That's definitely going to take a lot. Right, I need a door as well to be able to walk into my house. So, do I go for it? A half door, a fat door? Now, let's go for a basic door. That requires 15 units, boys. 15! This is going to take me forever to build a freaking house. That's okay. That's okay. Because it's going to be special, boys. It's going to be beautiful. You don't know what's about to hit you right now. Right, add it to my blueprint collection. Nice, nice, nice. Let's skedaddle. Let's get out of here. The moon is going down. And we're ready to rock and roll. We are ready, boys. So, boom, 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 boom. And now then with the blueprints, the smooth wall. Oh, I forgot to get the little pillar pieces. The little stick ones that kind of go up at the other side. I forgot about those. Right, so let's kind of drop in four walls here. All right. Oh, no, I didn't mean to push you there. Damn it. Right, be done. Move you. Rotate, rotate. Right, that would go there. So how much would one of these chunks give us? 64%. That 
that gives us 62 percent um this gives us 58 i'm trying to work out the mathematics on pieces and this gives us oh the full piece the full beans right this would give us 70 okay 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 this is why you kind of then need a sawmill Right, which is the correct way to chop this. So if I chop this in the middle, then we kind of roughly know. Excuse me. Why can't I chop either side? What is going on? Right, let me turn this piece. All right, let's go again, boy. There we go. So yeah, if I chop this in half, then I roughly know either side, because it's a 70 piece, would be around about 30%. And give or take a couple of percentages if this line is not smack bang in the middle. So then who needs a 30%? Boom. Okay, that's a little bit more than 30%. 96. Okay, that's close. That's awfully close. Right, this is going to be a 100% piece without a doubt. Oh, no, it went into the other one. Damn it. Damn it, you fool. Right, bring this out. That is going to be way too big uh, for one single piece. So let's chop. Well, let's chop in the middle. We'll use that for the one. And then we'll use this for the rest of the walls. And then your boy needs some more white wood. Damn it. I might see how much I... Oh, where they don't sell trailers in the um, in your boy Tom's store, do they? Oh, that's 91%. Right, okay. We'll use you here. That's slightly higher. What happened to that wall? No idea. You go over there. You're 92. <sighs> okay. No. Oh, damn it. So now we got to flip some of it over, isn't it? Freaking is. No, not you. All right, this should be enough. Again, this is why we need a freaking sawmill, boys. So you can do the work for me. I think that's what I might have to look towards getting at some point next. Damn it, you fool. And then we're going to have to be, build like a workstation bench. That would be nice. Right, there we go. This piece is not exactly where I want it to be. Is that the right height? Yes, it's now the right height. So we got some, some basic <laughs> walls down anyway, which is good. Very good. But still, I need more white wood, which is not a good sign. Not a good sign. So if I kind of get the blueprints down, I'm going to have to move this sign right now. I have to remove it to grab it. See if I can tilt it up again. Can I get that right angle? <laughs> no. We'll, we'll figure that out anyway. Let's just move this stuff. And blueprints. Let's get some more walls down. So turn you so you there 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 rotati you there 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 and hold on boys there now this is gonna be an interesting because i gotta get a door in here as well somehow um so can you get over here boy so boom boom i think i'll put the door there that next piece. How's that? I bet... Oh, yeah, it's all floating there, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it. Uh, that's okay. Press done, because we'll sort that out in just a minute. Basic door. I said basic door. Get in. Is that floating as well? No! If anything, the, the one thing that's not floating is the door. So that's our door to our little kind of house right now. That we got to work super hard on. Which the door itself takes a lot more wood. Which I find hilarious. Now I could chop all this wood here down. <clears throat> for the door of the house. Which I think I'm going to do. I wonder if this, this... this What are we stuck on? Yeah, so I wonder if this tree is 15 units for a door. If it is, that would be kind of dope. Let me just get it over here. Now, it'd be pretty easy to chop down. Boom. 
boom just like that so let's get this in i don't think this is going to be 15 units nowhere near but at least we can make a little bit of a start on it oh excuse me excuse me Whoa! there we go <laughs> this is going to be nowhere near 15 units guys nowhere near right let's get all this pick this up drop this down go pick this piece up go drop this piece down right i reckon we're on it now boys oh i don't know actually because this is quite a big chunk no <laughs> that's not what i wanted it to do your phone right i'm gonna have to move this i'm not gonna waste this piece because it's very valuable I'll pull it behind there so we kind of can't see it for now. Even though we can see it. <clears throat> right, actually, do you know what i do? Move it. Uh, rotate, turn. It can be a side piece here. Just there. I can't believe it took up that whole thing. It could have done the door! Oh, it could have done the door. Right, we might still be able to get away with it. 80%. Let's take this bit. This will be at 90 something now, I bet you. Yep. 90! Well, we can still do it. We can still do it. And then that is our brand new door. Right, let's hop into the truck. I don't think you can buy trailers at Wood R Us. I think it is the, the vehicle store across the bridge. But let me just peek into the window. Do you have any truck trailers? No, you don't sad times and i think the bigger birch trees are also across the bridge i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i do know your boy is gonna need a lot of birch right now to kind of get done what i need to get done so one tree kind of did five pieces in a way so if i get two more trees then technically i could do quite close to 10 pieces which i've got four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, actually, I do have ten pieces. Right, okay, we're going to see right now. I don't know if it's a risk it and actually just get you know, two trees worth on the thought process that, you know, I do have ten pieces remaining. But then again, not all the trees are going to have the same amount of branches. That's another thing as well. So I have to pick my trees wisely. Right, that tree there is a little bit too skinny. So is that one. Oh, that tree looks pretty juicy there. Uh, let's see what else up here. That looks like a juicy tree as well. That looks like a juicy tree too. Okay, we got a couple of options. Oh, do I go for? Do I go see the lava? No, I can't do that. I can't do that. Right, let me. You know, we'll, we'll get this tree first. It looks quite big and juicy. So, let's chop this full down. Right, low as possible. To maximize the wood. Right, here we go. Here we go. Timber, and then. Oh, have I cut too early? No, we Gucci boys. Actually getting quite a lot of wood from this tree. I think now we give them time to grow. We get a lot more planks from. I think we're going to need one more tree after this. I think even a skinny tree will be fine, to be honest with you. The amount of wood we've just pulled from this bad boy. Right, my next concern is just getting it into the trader truck. We have to do this quite smart. Aren't we, boys? We have to layer this correctly. Right, drop it in. Push it right over and against. Next piece, please. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, you're next. Over there. You're next just here. So now I'm placing it over the wheel arches. As you can see. So it kind of creates a like a U to hold the stuff in the middle. Okay, we're creating a little wood basket to hold wood. <laughs> Which would be pretty sweet, mate. And I can dump all these in real quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, actually, let me sort this one out because that end's going to be a little, little bit wonky. Yes! Nice! And then pick you up. There we go. Pick you up. There we go. So now then. Give it a little wiggle for them to settle. We need another tree. 
So, oh, look, look at the view we've got right now, boys. Look at the view we've got. We're going to chop this bad boy down here. It's huge as well. This one's huge. Right, we'll chop this way. And uh, then hopefully I've got enough once processed to build my house. Right, there we go. We've chopped. Let's timber it this way. Because <laughs> I don't want... Oh, this is a big boy bit. This is huge. We might have to pre-chop some of this stuff up before we put it through our sawmill. Because it's so big, some of it. I'm going to have some wood left over as well. That's that's me saying like I'm going to be able to carry all this in my truck all the way down. Oh, it's going to be so nerve-wracking trying to drive down with this. Right, okay. So let me just stop there for a second. Oh, where am I? There I am. Let me just grab this piece. And try and get this piece settled. Right, there we go. Hopefully that's going to be okay. Because that's the bigger piece. Out of all the pieces, you want the bigger ones. My truck's not glitching out, is it? No, it's the trees growing out, throwing me off. <laughs> right, again, get for all the bigger pieces first. There we go. Got to try and angle it correctly. Right, okay, we'll get this little piece next. Oh, this is going to be so nerve-wracking. Please, truck, don't glitch out. I can see you trying to shake and wobble. Yeah, I can definitely see the truck starting to shake and wobble a little bit. Right, I'm going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit with one more piece of wood. Okay, right, let's get into the truck. The truck doesn't want to drive. Okay. Right, give it a little bit of a wobble. For the wood to settle. Right, not all of this is going to be able to go places. Right, whatever falls out is now going to fall out, unfortunately. Oh, I couldn't drive the... Oh, look, it's all going to slide out. My truck doesn't want to go. Right, guys, that's fell out. We might have to come back for another journey then. I don't. I just don't have a truck big enough to hold the wood. At least now we're going downhill. The, the wood's aiming forward against the little barrier. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't t fall out now when I start turning. Oh my god, we're getting speed. I hate when that happens. The truck's so heavy, it starts to slide down the ramp. We're on it, boys. We're on it right now. We're doing it. We're doing it. Well, I can't believe how much wood we've currently got in. It's a bit, a bit ridiculous, isn't it? All right, turn. I'm trying to take these turns nice and easy, nice and smooth, without trying to unset the wood. All right, we're good. Okay, once we get down to here, it's pretty much clean sailing after this little bump. Because then all the rest is pretty easy. Easy boy. Right, try and avoid driving over that base. I'm trying to do the turns step by step. So we don't go mental. And we have freaking made it. Just like that boys. Woo, that was touch and go for a second. Um, right, okay. I decided I'm going to try and chop the wood up. But let's just see um, if that... It says blockage. Wow, all of that made that. We're in trouble. <laughs> we don't have enough wood still. But we still got plenty of planks left anyway. So let's just keep it going. Boom. Oh, I stacked this so well. I freaking stacked it beautifully, boys. There we go. Oh, can you, can you get up there? Oh, just about, just about. See, this is why you make a setup like this to begin with. You need that that, that, that first conveyor system there to kind of create these little angles that kind of swing things over slightly. It's beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Boom. Whoop. Boom. And then the last piece. Boom. Right, let's try and build... Oh, I'm all over the place right now. So let's try and build some of this stuff. Then let's get some of the smaller chunks. Like this is a... What percentage are you? 
Uh, uh, uh. Okay, right. I gotta get it where it's not touching too many pieces. Because that's when problems start to arise. So you're 70 odd there. We'll get rid of that. Move that one for a second. You're 100. Nice. Right, let's get this one centered. You're 70. So we can get ready to start chopping blocks up. 76? Okay. So we might do this, boys. 82? Alright. Alright. And let's try and squeeze that in. Oh, I didn't mean to touch it. Fool. Right, let's start chomping. I need, I need to get my truck around so I can see daylight. Come on, truck. Let me see where I'm chopping. I need vision. Right, let's chop here then. So this is now going to be, and the other piece behind me, is going to be what we use to trim to make it 100% on all the other little kind of blueprints. So what we're going to do, boys. All right, so there's the first one. So will that make 100 here? Yes. And this is why I need the sawmill, man. Because you can do all this for me. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Easy, easy, easy. Nice. So then, this should be... Oh, okay. So we'll go for the 80% over here. A little bit too small. But that's okay. <clears throat> that's okay. So we, don't need, we now need to... Well, we now know we need to go a little bit chunkier on this one. For the 70 percenters. We got this. Chomp, 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 chomp. So, 76% here. Makes it 100. And then, next one. Chomp, 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 chomp. So, as good as this silver axe is... Boys, we need that sawmill. We've got to create a sawmill setup next episode without a freaking doubt. Right, is that enough? Or is that a bit too small? Oh, it's 99. And that's on the 77% one as well. Right, where does this fit in? <clears throat> 57. Damn it. Um, okay, right. So we got, we've got this chunk anyway that we can chop up. So, right. Okay. I'll chop here and see where this kind of lies. That should kind of finish that 50% piece. Pretty swiggity swag. Let's go. So you should finish the 50 yeah, piece there. Nice. Then we'll chop up about here for that other 70 piece. And then I need like a 1% piece, don't I? And that's the annoying part about the you no know, 1% piece. So annoying. Right, let's go for the 76 over here. Nice. So if I just place this there for now. If I trim here, hoping that will be the what's is needed for that 70% 70, 70 piece. And then what's remaining will go with the, the 20 piece that I've just placed down. And then I could potentially have everything I need. Oh, 98. 98. Let me move that. What's this? Is this 100? 80! Right, if that's 80, what's this? 22. Somehow I kind of need to trim off 2%. <laughs> Is it going to work? No, no. No. Of course it's not. There is other ways in which you can do that. You can kind of bypass it by putting like a smaller percentage of something else with it. But sometimes it can glitch out to where it will then make the whole wood that small percent. Right. Let me see. Excuse me. Peace. Let me see what I can do here. I know I'm not getting it. Can I? <laughs> Oh, 
I'm about to say, can I reformat it? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did this piece come from? Hold on! Put you there! Put you there! Ta-da! I don't know where that piece came from. I think it was I think it was always stuck in there. But I've got the basis of my house. Except I'm missing one wall. Chuck. <laughs> right, what I'm gonna do then is we're gonna hop back into the trip, guys. I'm gonna buy the blueprints for the little pillar sections. We'll grab that. I'll go and get some more of the uh, birch wood. And then we should be able to finish it. Right, where's the little posts? There we go. Grab the posts. Hang on, how much how much do these take? Only two units. You're my friend. <laughs> right, chat with your boy, chat with your boy, chat with your boy. Yes, 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 yes. And then add it to my collection. I'm gonna go get the rest of the wood. Come back! And then we can finally complete phase one of the house. <clears throat> right, all the wood's now in. Oh, I forgot to change the setting. <laughs> right, forget that. Uh, all the wood's now in. Walls. Let me get this first wall over here done. There we go. Try and squeeze you in. Bye. Right, still got to lower those walls. We'll do that in just a moment. How many units is that? Okay, that's half of what I need. That is all of what I need. Boom, done. Right, so let me just move these to the point where then I can get them angled just right. No, sir. Get right against the door. Perfect. Right, okay. Move this real quick. Because I don't want them hovering because it will mess up my jam. Nice. And then get that one in as well. Beautiful. Okay. Right, there now we're in. So back to the blueprints. And walls. Is it, where's the posts? Other. There we go. I've got to get these little posts in. And are they, they're not floating, are they? No. Uh, which they do the corner pieces of your boy's house. The connecting joints, I might I add. There we go. Boom. Boom. And then all that's left to do then is place in all these little pieces. Now, they only take two units. So I reckon that is way too big. So if I chop it up, a couple of chops. I'm not sure how many units these are. That's one done there. One done there. Let me actually chop it up a little bit more. All right, if I go there instead, if I go here, and if I go here, I reckon that is more than enough. Like a little piece like this. Oh, no. It's 90%. So not quite. That would be... Oh, I think all these will be too small then. <laughs> Let me find... No, that's good. Right, that's 90... Or 89, sorry. Right, because the other pieces are too small... Because the other pieces are too small, we'll kind of use these. Bam! 90%. I right, should should just remain to kind of creating this. At some point, we have a proper system set up where we can actually we actually know what the size of each unit and stuff is. Right, there's plenty of systems that we can create to kind of get that done. But again, it all takes time. It all takes sweet cash money, Moolah. Let right, me be careful about this one not to touch those. Easy boy, easy. Chappity chap chap, chap chap chappity. Done. Done. And ta da! I have the first version of your boy's house. I have nothing inside, but at least I have a home. Got a bit of roof. Of course we have, but we've got something now set up which is beautiful. So I think what we'll probably do is get like a bed in here, get a toilet in here, or something just really simple like that. I might make some shelving units for some of my axes and might be some of this conveyor stuff until I buy some more land. But I have a feeling I'm going to be working super duper hard anyway to get the rest of the land up and running. So let me just put these planks of wood on my base. Get them off here. 
Boom. And maybe his little piece just here. Boom. And uh, my sign. I wonder if I can get it balanced on here. It's quite an art form to get it rebalanced. If possible. Oosh! No. It's, it's difficult, man. It's really difficult to kind of get it all balanced up again. But I'm not selling it, guys. It's my only sale sign that I want to keep. I want it to be a, me a men momentous memento finger jig even Bobby Mabu. I don't know. But anyway, guys, we're going to end it for here then. So next episode, 100%, we're going to be buying some more land. Hopefully we can start making some moves because now we, we've pretty much got the bigger thingy set up and we can kind of go a little bit more of a distance might buy a trailer might buy a bigger truck might buy a sawmill we'll see what happens in the next coming episodes but 100 percent we're definitely expanding the land next episode we just have to with how we are currently limited so that will be a lot of fun if you guys did enjoy this and want to see more of lumber tycoon turner please make sure you smash that like button down below and until next time i'll see you all soon so good bye <laughs>